Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the AI to generate the high detail 3D models for your Blender 4.0 just by using a piece of picture, a piece of image, which is can be JPG or PNG. And this is just a sample. Now you can see this is a, a 3D model that I generated by using the AI app just from this PNG and JPG picture. And now, just have a look, this 3D model, now it is already in Blender. This is Blender 4.0 with full skeletons, which you can manipulate any of the, any of the 3D animations. You can pose it, and you can turn the eyes as well. At the same time, if I back to the object mode and I hide the skeletons, you can just look at the face. It already have the facial expression shape key that you can use it to manipulate any of the 3D animations just by using the shape key and we can call, call it morph targets and you can call it as blend shape as well. So everything about these 3D models is just created by an AI app that is called the Headshot Plugins in Character Creator 4. And start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Just start from beginning, start from the scratch. All right. So now I'm going to just close the blender. Just start a fresh new 3D project in Blender and I press A and press delete button to delete everything and everything will just start from new what you need to do is just take your own picture like this just take your own picture you just face your back to the wall and ask your friend to help you to take a picture or you can just take a selfie picture for yourself next just get the character creator for from my video description link and this character creator 4 and the headshot 2 plugin is a paid software a paid plugin this is not a free software but once you get it you can use it forever this is a one-off payment once you get this app already what you need to do is just open the character creator 4 and turn on the headshot plugin choose the image and choose the auto next just drag your sample picture ju just drag your picture into here then choose your gender choose no mask and click generate then after that just wait for a while the ai the artificial intelligence is generating the whole 3d models based on your appearance based on your picture and you can just wait for a while and take a rest for a few seconds and maybe it will up to two minutes it depends on your computer speed just wait for a while right once you see this image that means it almost done and you still need to wait for a few seconds to to make sure that your 3d avatar is appear properly just wait all right now you can see the whole 3d models is already done and what you need to do is just give her some clothes and make it a t-pose. First, I'm going to just go to the content, go to here, and I'm going to apply a, a t-pose first for the calibrations. Double click. Right. Next, by using the character creator 4, you can just simply give her some clothes. I'm going to choose this. Choose from here, choose a shirt. Camilla's shirt under the content next I'm going to give her a pants as well and also a shoes you can design any of your 3d avatars shoes at here Alright, next, once you already feel satisfied, you can just export the FBX from 
the CC4 from Corrector Trader 4. First, I'm going to just open and create a new folder here. I, I'm going to name this as model. Right, the folder is at here on the desktop. Next, I click File, Export, FBX, Curve Corrector. Then, the target two presets. For this tutorial, we are going to, to send it to Blender. Blender 4.0, the high detail 3D model. So, the target two preset, just choose Blender. The FBX options, we just want to have the mesh. Then, turn here on. We need to embed the texture to make sure everything make your life easier. Then, you can just choose use T post as the bind post. Then, click export, click OK. Then, the folder is on my desktop model. The file name, I'm going to name this as model. Then click save. Alright, now the 3D model is already at here. This is the FBX 3D model. Next, you can just open your Blender, click File, Import, FBX from your desktop, Model, Model FBX. Then, so just wait for a while. Now it is loading. After finish loading, just click here to turn on the texture. And first, you can see the bra is penetrating. You can just click the bra and press the delete button to delete it. And then, look at the eyes. Just click the eyes. And then, go to the material. For both two of the materials on the eyes, just click the first one, scroll down. The blend mode change to alpha clip, then another eyes, scroll up, the left eyes, scroll down. The blend mode change it to alpha clip. Now everything looks normal and done. Then next we are going to test the skeleton. Click the skeleton here, go to the viewport display, sorry. Click, click here first. Then viewport display, make it in front and we can just test it. Click. Click the skeletons, go to the post mode. We just want to test the skeletons to see whether it is it is work or it doesn't work. Right now, you have another skeleton at here. Right, everything worked properly. We test it first. Alright, not this skeleton. Another one here. Right now everything can work properly. Control Z is to undo it. Next, we can just try to see whether can it open the mouth but you can just just go to here show the name and we are going to find the jaw right the jaw bone is here we try to just drag it you can see you can manipulate to open the mouth at the same time just click here you can see you can rotate the eyes as well right for the octahedra, you change it to the stick. It will be easier for you to see. Then we try to rotate the eyes to see. Yes, everything can work normally. Next, double check again. Back to the object mode and then click the face. And check the facial shape key here. The facial shape key, for example, the eye blinking. The eye blink. Right. Can, not, can make normally. So all of these are the facial shape key and this 3D characters, this 3D avatar is generated by the AI and everything works normally. Make it octahedra, sometimes you can just hide it or just make sure it is not showing in front. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to just use the AI to generate a fully rigged 3D avatar with high detail, high details of the 3D models included the facial expressions, 3D blend shape, or we can call it shape key or move targets. At the same time, it is fully rigged. It is ready for you. It is game ready, ready for you to create the 3D animations in Blender. At the same time, it is ready for you to just make it as a 3D model in your, in your game engine, etc. You can just do some editing in Blender as well if you want. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. 
If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!